Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today marks the next chapter of this channel. We are starting a new build today, so a lot of you guys know we picked up this 77 Hilux maybe like six months ago. It's been sitting behind the shop. We are finishing up the four-door Tacoma build. So now that we're all finished with that, it is time to get working on this truck. So I have a few ideas with it. The cool thing about this build is I'm not set on my ways. Anything is going with this thing. I don't want to get super in depth with it. I'm not gonna go through and repaint the whole thing and make it super nice. I want to have fun with this build and just kind of do off the wall stuff, kind of make it just a unique, cool little truck. As far as the motor goes, I am keeping the four cylinder Toyota. Now this thing has a 20R in it. I actually already picked up a 22R bottom end and I brought it to the machine shop. I wanted to drop that off and let them do their machine work because everybody is so backed up right now. I just wanted to drop it off so they have their time with it. They can do whatever they want. They can take however long they want. And when I need it, I should have it back. So I do have the full 22R bottom end. I am planning on running this 20R head on it. And I have a set of side draft carburetors for it. So this should be a pretty sweet build. I've never built a hybrid 20R, 22R motor. I've built a lot of 22REs, but never the hybrid. So very excited to build that. I got the truck in the air. Let's go check it out. I wanna show you guys the underneath of this thing. So let's curl under this thing. Honestly, it's in pretty decent shape. You can see a lot of oil and grease caked all over it, but all that's gonna be pressure washed off. The main thing I was kind of concerned with is the frame on these, so a lot of them are just completely full of rust. I don't see any holes at all anywhere in this frame. It's actually in really, really good shape. Um, honestly, kind of a last minute decision. I think I may do a frame off on this. Like I said, I'm not gonna go all out with it, but I do want a solid foundation, so I kind of am thinking I'm gonna just pull the bed, pull the cab, get it down to the frame, and then I'm gonna go through, clean up the frame, give the frame a paint job, just because, like I said, it's in decent shape and I wanna kinda of preserve that condition, so I don't want it to completely rust out. The body, I want, it, I want to leave it just kinda of crusty and rusty. The engine bay, I wanna go all out in the engine bay, make the engine bay super nice. But I don't know, I got ideas, things might change, we will see what happens. But I think for today, for this video, Honestly, I'm gonna start stripping it down. So I'm gonna pull the motor out. Obviously, we're gonna do the motor. So I'm pulling the motor and tranny. I actually have, that's a four speed in there. I actually went and picked up a W55 five speed. I believe that's a W55 anyway. Also, here's the side drafts. These are uh, dual Weber 40 mil. They were actually on a 22R. So this is a 22R manifold. I actually do need a 20R manifold for these side drafts. The, um, you can see the ports are a lot different. These are kind of a square port whereas I believe 20R is a round port. If any of you guys actually have a lead on a 
side draft 20R manifold, drop a comment, drop me an email. I'll throw my email in the description box. Also, I do have a couple questions if any of you are really familiar with the side drafts on these Toyotas. A lot of people are saying, or at least I've read online that you're supposed to run a full mechanical distributor with those carburetors because there's no vacuum port on them. But I have seen a lot of people run side drafts with a stock distributor. So I'm kind of curious about that. If you guys know for a fact what you gotta do there. And then also this is a points distributor. So I believe I need to swap to an electronic ignition. So I'm not really sure exactly what I need to do with that. Drop a comment. I know a lot of you guys are into these older trucks with the 20R, 22Rs. Honestly, I've never really messed with these carbureted engines. All of my trucks were pretty much 22REs, so I'm not super familiar with them, and especially not familiar with the side drafts. So if any of you guys are super knowledgeable about side drafts, I'll drop my email in the description box. Shoot me an email if you wanna help me out with that. Well guys, that's enough chit chat, and I'm getting anxious to get working on this thing. So I think we'll start with the motor, tranny, pull that out. And then honestly, I don't know, I think I might just pull the cab, pull the bed and check this frame out and I wanna give this thing a paint job. So let's get to work. Man, I miss working on these old Toyotas. These things are so freaking easy to work on. Motor and training came out probably about an hour worth of work. So I'm gonna go through, take some more of this out, get some of this wiring out of the way, uh, coil, all that good stuff, some of this, and I'm gonna get it back outside, pressure wash all this frame off, and get that cleaned up for now. And then I also want to pull the 20R head off because I wanna bring that to the machine shop as well. I'm gonna have that gone through. <laughs>
All right, we got this thing torn down. Actually, this motor is actually in pretty good shape. But like I said, I'm not using that bottom end. I may pull the flywheel off just in case I need it. But either way, we got the head we need. Uh, I do have aluminum rockers. These older rockers are kind of like cast steel or something, and they're not that great. So I have actually a newer set, but I got to get to my head guy, drop this thing off, and I still got to order up my valves and everything for that as well. But I want to get the head at the machine shop. All right, guys, it's time to get the cab and the bed off. Uh, one thing I want to say real quick, I'm not using this thing. If any of you guys want it, I'm going to do a little giveaway, and it's honestly... It looks brand new. Even look at these uh, mounts. I don't know. It looks like someone just put it on there. But to enter the giveaway, all you got to do is you have to want the thing for first. For second, you have to guess what that tranny is. I thought it was a W55. It is not. First one to guess what that tranny is, you get the uh, little bully tailgate net thing. I don't even know what they're called. You got that for free. I'll ship it out to you for free. Like I said, all you gotta do is guess that tranny. Let's see how well you guys know Toyotas. Some of you guys are probably better than me. I thought that was a W55. Now that's what I call a quality wiring job. Put my half inch Milwaukee to the test. Seven out of eight bolts snapped. Luckily, Toyota put nuts on the backside of all of these, so there's not inserts in there we need to worry about. Like the Tacomas have inserts in the bed, and when you can't get these bolts out or you break them, you're freaking drilling them out, cutting the bed apart just to get those inserts out. So luckily they have nuts on them and the bolts just broke. We just replaced the bolts and we're done. Well, there we have it folks cab is off and luckily like i thought this frame is actually in really good shape for being a 1977 honestly i'm very happy with it so we got to get this thing outside i want to kind of just walk i hate working on dirty stuff i want to go through pressure wash it i'm not going to get too picky just blow off a lot of the crap i gotta pull the fuel tank out I got to pull, well, actually, I guess we're going to strip the whole frame just because there's like one harness here. There's one brake line, one fuel line, and then front suspension, which is about 10 minutes worth of work because take that bolt out, you take that bolt out, the whole subframe, all the suspension drops out about not even 10 minutes, probably five minutes. We'll have the whole suspension out, pull the steering box and the frame is hundred percent stripped. Other, well, I guess rear axle too, but it's gonna be so easy to strip this thing. So that's the game plan. We're gonna strip it down. I'm not sure exactly what we're doing for paint. I'm kind of leaning towards the Eastwood uh, rust encapsulator stuff and then top coat it. I don't know, we'll figure it out, but we gotta get it cleaned up first. Also, we may have to do some frame mods just because of uh, mini truck mod stuff. So I gotta figure out what we're doing. 
honestly, I got a lot of suspension ideas. Well, guys, I got to decide what I'm doing for suspension. Before I go through and paint the whole frame, I want to get that figured out first. If we're going to do any modifications, any welding, I'm not sure exactly what we're doing. I have some ideas. I just got to make a decision. So that's the hardest part is kind of deciding exactly what to do. So I got to figure that out. And another thing that sucks is I'm kind of on a time crunch because shipping is so slow. I need to order the parts up so when I'm done cleaning the frame, cleaning up the cab, blah, blah, whatever I'm doing, I can actually get to work on whatever we're going to do. So that's the game plan. I got to figure out what we're doing first. Well, guys, that's a good start to the mini truck build. Completely stripped it down to the frame. Like I've said, this thing is so easy to work on. It's insane compared to like even the newer, the third generation here, the Tacoma. This thing is so easy to work on. There's like five wires on the entire truck. It's so simple, but either way, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. We got a lot done. We got a lot more to do. Hope you guys are excited. Hope you're liking the build so far. And feel free to drop a comment and give me some ideas on anything really. Body, suspension, motor, interior. This thing needs about everything. So the cool thing about this truck, like I said in the beginning, I'm just kind of winging it. I don't really have a game plan. If we gotta build stuff, we gotta build stuff. Like a lot of these parts you can't even buy for these anymore. So I have a feeling we're going to be building a lot for it. But either way, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I'm going to wrap this up. Go smash that thumbs up button. Comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.